Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing the no makeup makeup look. I know I just did a very similar video. It was my like five minute makeup using five products and that one I guess, depending on who you ask, could be very similar to like a no makeup makeup look. This is going to be like a real no makeup makeup look. I am going to use makeup products, but it's going to be like, is she wearing makeup kind of look. I love these little clips, especially now that I have like these little longer bangs. So my first step is absolutely skin prep. You totally wanna make your no makeup makeup look be very skin focused. I've been recently loving The Ordinary and I've been using them for like, two weeks now I think I've noticed such a huge difference in my skin if you guys want a video on the ordinary leave a comment down below and let me know I will totally do it so I've been using their moisturizer it's humongous also I feel like you could also use it like on your body probably but I'm going to put that moisturizer all over my skin I'm showing you guys close up because I actually don't know how to say those words. I also have like no idea what this even is. It says that you can use it AM and PM and it helps improve your brightness and skin texture. I totally agree with that. Like it's been working so well in conjunction with like other products, but I've noticed that this really helps with oil production. Like it totally makes me like matte for much longer and I'm not looking to be like matte matte, but you know, like oil happens and I, I don't mind my oil, but sometimes I do wish there were like ways to control it um, without using like powder, I guess. So I'm taking it like on my hands and then I'm gonna pat it into my nose and my T-zone and my chin. Totally been helping with like oil production so you don't have to worry about like your skin getting really oily throughout the day if you're gonna use this. And I don't know if it's like technically a moisturizer. I have no idea like what this product really even is. I just know it's been helping my skin and it's been making me less oily. Shoot, you know what I forgot? I forgot sunscreen. I totally brought over the Glossier Invisible Shield for my sunscreen, but I'm not gonna be out in the sun. I'm really just going to my boyfriend's house. Another product from The Ordinary that I have recently tried is the caffeine solution for the under eyes. And this is really nice. I also really like using an under eye product for when I am doing my no makeup makeup days. I think that having a hydrated under eye makes you look so healthy and awake and fresh. So for my concealer to like conceal things, I'm going to be using the Glossier Stretch Concealer. This is the perfect concealer for no makeup makeup. I love this concealer because like you literally can't tell you're wearing anything on the skin, but it does a pretty good job at covering things up. So I'm going to like mainly focus on covering up these scarrings that are on my cheeks from like this little breakout that I had for a little while. But The Ordinary really cleared it up. I'm just working on using like some vitamin C to lighten up the scarring. See like it kind of just helped lessen the appearance of it and you can still see it peeking through the skin but I think it looks a lot better than how it did before. I also have this like darkness right here that I like to cover up. Putting right there, I'll put like whatever is left over on the chin. I don't put any around my nose because I know that will crease, but I do put it on the tip of my nose because I want it to be a little less red. Doing the other side. So the biggest trick that I can tell you guys for the under eye and concealer on a no makeup makeup day is to focus your concealer on the outer part of the eye and not the inner part. And the reason for that is a lot of the creasing happens right in here, but there's still like a little bit of darkness around the whole eye. And if you just focus it a little bit on the outer corners, then it lessens the appearance of the darkness but doesn't crease. So... It's so like a little hack. And that's what I used to do when I would visit my boyfriend on late nights. So I would put it on the outside of the under eye, like the outer part, I guess, and then drag it down, but totally avoid this area right here. So like, 
yeah you can totally tell that this side is brighter looking but it still looks very natural and it won't crease so that's important because right here is where you're getting all your creasing but you're not putting any product right there I also think that like we care so much about dark under eyes but I think a lot of times dark under eyes looks really beautiful like I feel like you guys should also like flaunt them a little bit like I kind of like that this little area is still dark I still I think it still looks natural but you know it's not like as dark as before so like I think a little bit of dark under eyes looks kind of sexy sometimes I don't use that word very often though it's like made me feel a little uncomfortable so if you want to add a highlighter, I definitely recommend adding a highlighter before any blush product. I am going to use the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. And to make it even more like sheared out and natural, I'm going to be mixing it in with the moisturizer that we used. Next, I'm going to be using a Glossier Cloud Paint, and this one is in the shade Dusk. This is like really the most natural one that they have. Also, I didn't mention this before when I was using my stretch concealer, but I do have a rep link with Glossier, and I will link that down below. You can save 10% off if you do decide to use it. I typically use the Cloud Paints with a brush, but I'm not going to today. I'm just going to be adding like a little, a little bit of her on my cheeks. And since our skin is so hydrated, the cloud paint will like seriously melt into the skin. You can also take some of the blush like up here. And then I like, like to put a little bit on my nose. I know that we covered up the redness earlier with the concealer, but I think when you control the redness, like it can look cute, you know? And then I'm just going to put a little bit of it on my eyes. Because like I said, like the darkness on your eyes can look really cute. For my eyebrows, I am going to be using the Brow Flick, and I'm only, I'm not going to use any of it on the front part of my brows. I'm going to be using it on, like, the end. Because I do have, like, some weird balding right there. I'm going to just, like, extend the brow a little bit. Alright, I lied. I did just, like... Put a little bit right there but it's a little bit i really like the brow flick i totally prefer it in brown rather than black even though my hair is really dark i find that the br the black one can get like really out of control i also think if your brow flick seems like it's drying out take a paper towel and wipe the brush part off it makes a huge difference it's like brand new again after you do that i think what happens is like the brow flick tip dries up because I do think there's like a waxy property in it or something so it kind of gets like a little bit goopy on the tip so just like clean it off and it's like brand new again to set my brows I'm going to be using the ColourPop brow gel the reason why I'm not using uh, like a colored boy brow or something is because I don't want it to look like there's anything in my brows. Not that like the boy brow gives it away, but I don't know. This is just like a no makeup makeup look. So just trying to be as like light as possible. And I absolutely love the ColourPop brow gel. It's like kind of waxy, so it really holds your brows. It's not like a gel, it's like a wax. I feel like, what is it called? It is called a gel, but I don't think it's a gel. It's like a cream for your eyebrows. I'm not gonna put any mascara on. This would be the point where you would probably like curl your lashes. I don't have a lash curler. Can you believe it? I use my sister's a lot, but she took hers back to school with her. Isn't that kind of rude? And then for my lips, I do use a lip liner. Um, I just don't like overline my lips and I definitely still keep it really natural. I'm using the Buxom Plump Liner in Hush Hush. I 
I just kind of do that to like perfect my lip line. See, like that still looks very natural, like it doesn't look like I'm wearing anything. And then I'm going to go in with the new Glossier Balm.com in their berry scent. It's tinted, but I feel like it still looks really natural. Like it kind of looks like my lips naturally look like this and I just have like a lip balm on or something. So there you have it. Here's the finished look. I still look like a little bit, you know, tired and I definitely like look like I don't have any makeup on, but I feel like I look a lot better than I did in the beginning of the video. I feel like doing looks like this just kind of make you look a little bit more polished without looking like anything. Like this would be like the perfect little like headshot makeup look, you know? I think it's really pretty. I think it's great for like a pool day, a beach day, you know, like where you still want to get your Instagram picture, but you don't want to like wear a ton of makeup. But that is it for me today. Let me know if you guys want to see that ordinary skincare video. I definitely still want to use it for a couple more weeks, but I feel like I formed a lot of strong opinions on a lot of these things that I would like to share. So let me know if you guys want to see that. But for today, that is it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave any suggestions for what you'd like to see next. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you can be notified whenever I post a new video and hopefully I see you next time.